So today's sewing make, which is Simplicity 8610, a jumpsuit, is actually something that I made as a test garment because I noticed as I was going through my patterns that this jumpsuit had quite a bit of design details. So I wanted to just kind of just do like a muslin, a toile, a mock-up, if you will, just to kind of see what the final garment would look like. So I used 100% cotton and I did put in all the details, all the zippers, I put everything in, but I did not make any adjustments whatsoever. I just wanted to see what everything would look like as is. So I made the jumpsuit out of a polka dot black and white fabric that I purchased from Joann Fabrics. So some of the features, this pattern has darts in the front bodice. There is a centered back zipper. So there are loops on the back of the upper bodice. And then there are straps that have a buttonhole and also a button and you put the strap through the loop and then you button it from the bottom to the top. So I thought that was a cute feature. There are also lines, decorative stitching on the top of the bodice. So it looks like I think two or three rows of decorative stitching that's just placed there. So it's optional so you can put that in which I did do but you can't really tell because my fabric is white and the thread that I used is white. But I did want to just try that feature out. There are gathers at the top of the pants and then there are front and back pockets. So things that I did, I used scraps in the bodice area. Because I was making this up as a test garment, I did not purchase the full amount of fabric recommended on the pattern envelope. I knew that I had some white cotton at home and I also knew that I had some fabric that I could use for the strap. So I just kind of bought less and then just used what I had to just add in where I needed to. So you will see on the top of the bodice, on the back area is white cotton. And then also for the straps, I used some faux knit leather. And I actually really like this. So although I meant for this to be a test garment, I actually like it. So I don't know if I'll wear it. I may wear it. I think I will because I really like it. But the thing that makes me question wearing it is because it did turn out big. So I noticed that there's some gaping on the side under the arm area and then also in the back it's a little roomy in the little tush, tushy area. So once I make this again, which I'm sure that I will, I don't know when I'll do it, but at some point when I make it again, I will know that I need to make those adjustments and I'm okay with that. So as far as the changes that I made, the only thing that I did that was significantly different is leaving off the back pockets. Other than that, like I said, I did use different fabric for the straps and different fabric for the upper back bodice area. So I will go ahead and show you what this jumpsuit looks like on. So that's my jumpsuit. I have a feeling that I will be wearing this even though it's a little big and there are some changes that need to be made. I really like it so I will probably more than likely wear it anyway. So for my love share it's a product that I noticed. So I was enjoying fabrics the other day and I was checking out. It was my turn so I didn't really get a chance to really look but before I got called to the register I noticed these body mark tattoo markers by BIC. And I was like, oh my gosh, they have body markers? So I had no idea that you could like buy these markers and you can just draw on yourself. So I thought, oh wow, that would be kind of cool to have something fun just to kind of play around with. So I didn't purchase those markers that day, but I did go to Hobby Lobby looking for the markers. I couldn't find them in Hobby Lobby, but I did find something similar and they are body and face markers by Tulip Body Art. They come in different colors. I actually have one here with me, but they do come in different colors. And these are okay for your face and body, whereas the other ones that I mentioned are only good for body. They're not recommended for face. 
So anyway, I thought that these would be fun because I could imagine, like say you go to a tailgating party or you go to a Super Bowl game or something and you just want to kind of temporarily put something on you just to kind of represent your team or whoever it is that you want to, you know, kind of shout out or whatever. So I thought that these would be fun. And so anyway, I purchased these and I just wanted to share them just in case you know someone that may be interested. Another thing you could do with these is if you are thinking about getting a tattoo, you can kind of draw the tattoo out just kind of to see what you might think about it. And then it'll wash right off with water and soap. And another thing that I thought would be fun is you could kind of do one of those right there if you want to. So that is it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.